All right, now this might be the most amazing looking visual albino leopard boa that I've ever produced. I'm assuming that there's orange gasm in here and that's what's making it so spectacular. Look at the deep reds. This is 100% het blood too. This is a powerhouse little girl. What's up, snake fans? Dave Palumbo here from Muscle Serpents Daily. Yes, the sun is set. It is late, but I will not let you guys down. I will get a video done if it kills me. No, just kidding. I, yeah, I'm going to go into the snake room. There's a, a litter I haven't looked at in quite a while uh, that I bred a while back. I had a, about, about two months now that we've had this litter. It was a blood leopard. So that's a double visual, possible head albino that proved out to be a head albino bred to an orange jasmine pastel which is a like an orangey pastel line bred trait in boas uh eclipse which is a leopard and motley and then it's also het, was het for albino so it was a pretty interesting clutch and we're going to take a look and see those babies and see what we got and i think one died but everything else looks pretty good so without further ado, let's go into the snake room and take a look. Sun is setting here in Cape Coral, Florida. All the pythons are out because it's not too hot. They're kind of like chilling out, moving around a little bit. I don't know what she's doing. My albino all the pythons, she's moving her tail around. Doing some weird stuff with her tail, I don't know. I've never seen her do that with a tail. Are you happy? Is that what? You you just want to bite my hand. Like you you bit the cell phone yesterday or two days ago. <laughs> you're, ha you're a happy camper, but you still like to bite. And olive pythons are very, very slick biters. They don't just take a bite out of you. They, they pretend that you they want to be held. They pretend they're all being social. At least this girl. Grab you. You're not grabbing me. That's not through this mesh. Not through this mesh, that's for sure. Look, you would think you were the best snake. Such a nice little girl, right? You know me, you know my. Oh, look at this. She went. <laughs> she got you. It's going to get me. That's what you get. That's what you get. <laughs> Even through the mesh. Unbelievable. Well, I was smart this time. I didn't open the cage door and do it. Sorry. Would you look at her? Look at it. Look at how agile she is. She's, she, these all pythons, they're not dummies either. They're very smart snakes. She was trying to like pretend like she was my friend and she was, eh, I'm just going to come up and say hello. And she thought she was going to get me, schmooze me, but she didn't realize that, uh, well, maybe she's not that smart because she tried to bite me through the mesh cage. <laughs> Sure, sure, obviously it wasn't going to work. Uh, her boyfriend is, he's, he's taking a nap. He's taking a little snooze. Here's my other pair. It's amazing. You would think that uh, this girl just ate a jumbo rat. A jumbo. A couple of days, like last, what was it, about five days ago? You, she looks, she looks like, like I'm starving her to death. She looks emaciated. These olive pythons are very fast metabolisms. And that's that's why you you know you kind of have like this tendency to want to feed them more because you say, oh, they're too so thin. They need more food, like an Italian grandmother. But uh, they don't. You don't want to overdo it. There's my Bradley female. She's out too. Look at her. She's a sweetheart. I can definitely, I can confirm that. The olives are definitely biters. She's not. Look at that girl. She's big. They're real. Bradley's are really long. And you know what? There's the male down there. As soon as the sun came down, they, they, they're they out and about. When the sun was in, they were just in their little hide box trying to stay cool, believe it or not. So, but she, they like the branches. They definitely move around the cages for sure. I loved watching them in their naturalistic enclosures here. 
All right, we're going to do a little update on a, uh, a breeding I did a little earlier this year. The breeding was a blood leopard, so double visual, het cal albino, he proved out, and it was bred to an orangeasm pastel, which is a pastel line, eclipse, which is a leopard and a motley. And this is a male we produce from this litter. This is a visual leopard, het blood. It's 66% head for call albino, but I want to show you this guy. He's beautiful. He's gorgeous. Look at this. He looks, he almost, he looks leopard um, blood, but he's not. He's only 100% head blood because only one of the parents was, was blood. But he's got that orangasm or orangeasm line of pastel in him, and I think he's really expressing it very highly because there's no hypogene in here whatsoever. So this is this is a really really red looking leopard for just being a leopard. So he's leopard het blood, possible het albino with that orangeasm really coming through nicely. This is my good friend Slav produced the uh, mother of this clutch and. This is an exquisite looking leopard. This might be one of the nicest looking just plain leopards without any other, you know, influencing genes in here. Look at that, look how much orange red is in that snake. I would almost swear there was blood in here. Unless Slav was hiding some, some head blood in his uh, female, which I don't think he was. She's only head blood, he's only head blood. Here's another beauty. Male leopard, het blood, possible het cal albino. Same thing, very, very, this orangeasm is really, really expressing itself very highly in this, uh, in this visual leopard here. Another beautiful little male. These guys are gonna become available, so if you guys are interested, great, great powerhouses. So we got leopard, het blood, 66% het albino. And with that orangasm or orangasm pastel wine in it. And here's a female. This is this is your typical looking leopard. You know, she's a little light too, but um, she's actually in shed. And she's also a, a leopard. Hep blood, 66% head albino. Once again, she's I hate showing steaks in shed because it doesn't really give a good example. She's she's a, your stereotypical. Uh, leopard with a little bit of orange acid in it, I think. Not as much as those other two little males, but she's red. She's also very red. Now here's a good contrast. Here's a gorgeous leopard. So this is leopard head blood, also a possible head albino. Uh, I mean, possible head, yeah, call albino. But look, that's dark. That's a dark leopard. Let's see if we can pull out the other leopard and we'll compare. Here's the other one. Look at the difference between these two guys. Look at the lightness. Look how much lighter this one is than this one. Leopards are usually dark. And this, this little boy is, is light. This one's a stereotypical leopard. So even that female that I just showed you, she's, you know, she, she's shedding, but she's light too. So that orangeasm pastel definitely makes a huge difference on the leopard gene. Very, very nice little epistasis between it. All right, now this might be the most amazing looking visual albino leopard boa that I've ever produced. I'm assuming that there's orange jasmine in here and that's what's making it so spectacular. Look at the deep reds. This is 100% het blood too. This is a powerhouse little girl that will not leave this facility <laughs> for nothing. Someone's gonna have to make me a really big offer to leave to, for me to sell this. This is seriously the nicest one I've ever produced. This almost looks like a visual blood albino. It almost looks like a red dragon here. Look at that, look at the whites in that thing. I wish I could take it outside. It's dark here though. I came here and it's nighttime. So I uh, had a long day. Look at the whites in this thing. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but this thing is just spectacular. Wow. This guy doesn't want to stay still. This little girl. Come on, stay still for me. Trying to do a video here. I know you don't care, but 
Look at that head. Look at how beautiful the snake is. Wow. That is beauty. Look at that face. Look at the body with the whites in there. Holy mackerel, and the dark reds. Best, best leopard albino that I've ever made. She's also 100% hip blood. Holy mackerel, I swear to you, I have not opened this tub up in probably a month. This albino eclipse is spectacular. Holy, I, I, I'm, <laughs> I really haven't looked at her. She changed so much from when she was born. She was like white when she was born. She has so many pinks in her. Look at that beauty. That's albino, leopard, motley. That gives you albino eclipse. And she's head blood. Oh my God. Can you imagine what the red's in here from blood? What this thing's gonna look like? This is a boy too. Oh my God. Holy. Sorry guys, he's not leaving here. I don't care what anyone offers me. This might be one of the nicest looking snakes I've ever produced. Wow. I have to assume that orange jasmine wine in here has something to do with it too. Man, Slav, this is next level. The interaction of these genes. I thought that leopard albino was incredible. The last one I showed you, the, the female. This male albino eclipse, head blood is off the charts. I, I don't think I'm picking, I don't even think the camera could pick this thing up as well as it looks, as good as it looks. I can't even believe it. This thing is, look at that tail. Look at the whites and the stripes and the tail and the solid body because it's albino eclipse. Remember, the eclipse is made by the leopard and the motley gene together, and they create a, a solid animal. Sometimes you get a little striping on the tail like you're seeing here. And then this is the albino version of that. So if this was not albino, it would be like black looking, or probably in this case, it would be a little lighter than black chocolatey looking. Whoa! I'm in love. All right, guys, as I stand here sweating it out, it's very hot out today. The bugs are out there eating me alive. <laughs> I had to stand in the open doorway because I had to have a black background because it's the lighting is so terrible. I can't usually film outside, you know, my intros and outros, but I can't do that today. Man, how did that, that, that boa let it turn out? Pretty insane. I gotta be honest with you, I haven't looked at those babies in over a month. It might even be, it might even be longer because I was in the hospital with the pneumonia. Uh, I was blown away by the last two. Oh my God. Actually, all of them blew me away, but the albino eclipse, the tap blood, and the albino leopard, the tap blood are just off the charts. I'm so, I'm so happy. It made up for all the terrible things that happened over the last year, all the, the mishaps in the boa breeding. So, uh, you know, that goes with the territory. You, know, you gotta get used to it. Uh, if you're gonna breed snakes, not everything goes as planned. Remember that. And probably very little goes as planned, but sometimes you get surprised and for the best. All right, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, show me the love, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, hit that like button. I'll see you back tomorrow morning.